What's up guys, it's the Jersey Jaguar and I'm back with another video. Well today I'm going to go over the differences between the three types of Adidas jerseys. Now most of you know this, but for those of you who don't, Adidas currently supplies the NHL, meaning every team on ice wears Adidas. Well there's three different types, starting with the Fanatics Retail Replica. Moving on up, we got the Retail Authentic, which is made in Indonesia. Finally, we got what the players wear, which is the Made in Canada on ice version. All right, each got pluses and minuses. Hopefully after watching this video, you're gonna be able to decide which is the best one for you. All right, so when Adidas took over, they wanted a lighter, cooler, and more durable jersey. So they came out with this guy right here for the players. All right, so in this video, we're going to go over sizing, not only the jerseys, but sizing briefly in general, pricing, purpose, and materials. Now, guys, for this video, I chose the same team, same player, and roughly the same size for comparison to make it a little bit easier to follow. Let's hop right into it. All right, guys, let's get started with this Fanatics breakaway jersey. Now, this is an XL, which correlates to a size 54 in the Retail Authentic, made in Indonesia, as well as a 54 in the Made in Canada version. Now, on the side chart, a 54 is an XL. All right. Uh, <clears throat> so, on the side, you can see there is little to no taper along here. All right, it is a wider fit, probably the widest out of the three in terms of a uh, taper, but it is also the longest out of the three with the longest sleeves. So guys, pit to pit, all right, pit to pit is going to be straight across from the chest. That is going to be 26 and three quarters inches. Now at the body, very, very slight taper. It's going to be 26 inches as well as the waist, which is about the belt line, all right? Now, top to bottom, which is going to be from the top of the collar, rear collar right there, going all the way down, we have 34 inches in the sleeve. Now, guys, I measure my sleeves from the outside collar going to the end of the sleeve. We have 31 and a quarter inches. Uh, so, as you can see, <clears throat> it is pretty true to a size... 54 so like i said it, it's 26 and three quarters of an inch so let's say if it was 27 you times it by two that would be 54 so it's just under 54 inches so it's just slightly smaller than a size 54 labeled jersey all right guys and now we have the made in indonesia adidas authentic this is the Retail Authentic, a.k.a. the Indo. Now, guys, these do run small to size. Again, this is labeled a 54, but the pit to pit is 24 and a half. So, again, the pit to pit is 24 and a half. That measures out roughly to size 49, rounded it up to 50. So, in reality, it measures across to like a size 50, but it's labeled a size 54. This one does taper in at the body to 23 and 3 quarters inches right here at the body okay and but then at the waist right about at the belt line over here it goes back out to 25 inches so guys it's tapered on the body and then it comes back out a lot of guys say it fits like a dress they kind of do <laughs> sad to say guys keep in mind too that this is the climate light version which was the first run of adidas authentic it was done arrow ready until last season and then last season started the prime green they're all pretty close to to sizing though Maybe like a quarter inch, half inch here or there. Not too big of a difference though. Now guys, top to bottom, we do have 33 inches. So it is a little bit shorter than the Fanatics Breakaway. And the sleeves are a hair shorter at 31 inches versus the Fanatics Breakaway at 31 and a quarter. Uh, guys, it's still a decent jersey though. But I recommend if you like your jerseys fit and baggy, go a size up normally that you, normally that you uh, are used to, okay? 
So if you usually wear a size 50 like in the Reeboks, I would recommend going a 52. For me, I'm 6'2", 190 pounds roughly. I wear a size 50 and I wear a size 50 in Reebok. So uh, they both fit me okay though. It, it just depends how you like your jerseys to fit. Again, more tapered on this one. Just a heads up. Finally, we have the Made in Canada Adidas Authentic Arrow Ready Jersey. And guys, like I said, this is what the players wear. Now, this is a size 54, which is what I believe Jonathan Taze wears, if I remember correctly. Guys, this is not a team issue or game-worn jersey. It is just a blank shell that's made in Canada that I had customized to team specs at City Sport into a Jonathan Taze. It even has a team issue Stan Makita patch, memorial patch from that season. So again, outside of having the little tag at the bottom that says game issue or game worn, this is what the players would wear. All right, guys, completely different construction. And as you can see, it's gonna be a little bit different in sizing. Now guys, out of the three jerseys, as you can imagine, this is the truest to size. So it's labeled a 54 and it has about a 27 and a quarter inch pit to pit across the chest. It tapers very slightly down to 26 at the body and 26 at the waist. Okay. And top to bottom is about 33 and a quarter. So it's right on par roughly with the Adidas, with the Adidas Indo Authentic. Slightly shorter than the Fanatics Breakaway. Now the sleeve length is going to be from the outside collar to the bottom of the sleeve slightly shorter actually the shortest out of the three and that would be 30 and a half inches now guys if you can see here the sleeve does taper down okay it has a very slight taper towards the bottom of the jersey and just so you guys can see right there where the fight strap is okay the adidas authentic also has a fight strap too we'll get into that later though and there you go that is the sizing for the Made in Canada version. All right, guys, so real quick, uh, I just want to say if you're having trouble following the measurements section that I just went over, I'll post the link in the description for a video that I created on how to measure jerseys. It's a good one, it's quick, <clears throat> it'll help you out. All right, guys, so back to business. Um, let's start off, there is no fight strap on this jersey, okay, or reinforced elbows, all right. Guys, the material of the jersey is the same across the whole jersey. It is standard dimple mesh. It's really close to the cool base from baseball material, if you guys are familiar with that. Also, too, on the armpits, everywhere else, it's all the same material. There's no variation. That's it, except for the collar obviously that's a different material still polyester though all right guys so the front crest the secondary shoulder logos uh front captain patch letters and numbers are all this shiny reflective polyester flat material the details are supplemented into it i'll give you a close-up here in a second with the exception on the blackhawks there's a little bit of embroidery and tackle twill, it looks like, um, for the for the black part of the hair. So let's hold it up. You guys can see that's all sublimated in. Now, from what I understand, every team in the league is like that. Every, every time I've seen the Fanatics breakaways, it was always, especially on the letters and numbers, that reflective material you see there. Guys, front logo is sewn into the jersey. All the rest is heat pressed on, okay? The nameplate's also sewn on right here, but the letters are heat pressed on to the nameplate material. Guys, it uses kiss cut letters and numbers. If you're not familiar with what kiss cut is, I'll be making a video about that. And again, I'll show you really quick. Heat pressed on, all right? No stitching. Again, only the front logo and the nameplate material is sewn into the jersey. And that's the basic construction. NHL logo, also keep pressed on. 
Okay, so we have quote unquote the authentic version. Guys, be aware that this is the retail authentic, which are made in Indonesia, like I said already, probably 15 times in this video. So guys, you can already see huge difference though in terms of quality. Now guys, on, on these authentics, you'll actually see team specific differences. So most of you know, but for those of you who don't, the Blackhawks use chain stitching in their logo. One of the only teams still in the NHL that does that. Uh, tackle tool for the skin material. Everything else though is chain stitched, all right? You can see right there, it does have a fight strap. That's how it looks. And this one has standard factory customization. So we'll get into that part right now. It is sewn into the jersey, luckily. But, except for the current prime greens, all the other factory customization, use single layer supplemented vinyl, okay? So this is vinyl. You guys gotta be careful if you wash this too many times or incorrectly, the ink will come out of this vinyl 100%, all right? Be aware. Uh, for the Blackhawk specifically, chain stitched. Again, on the secondary logos, but these ones are heat pressed on. Look at that. All right, guys. Nameplate sewn on. Name plan on this one's actually name plan on this one's actually sewn into the to the material though, into the name plate material. All right, guys. Blackhawks front crust sewn in. Anytime you all right, guys. So anytime you see this paper backing, it doesn't necessarily mean it's fake. It just means it, it, it was set in a machine. This is not done by by a human by by hand. They set in a machine. They already have the special specifications coded into the machine and they're, they're able to crack out quite a bit of them like that. All right, guys, so this jersey though uses a different material. It's also a variation of dimple mesh. However, it is thicker and more grainy. It is nicer and a little bit more stretchy. All right, guys, collar is pretty much the same on the Fanatics version. However, it has a different shield. The other one was standard embroidery. This one is plastic and has a metallic finish to it. All right, heat pressed on though, just like the other one. Guys, biggest difference is right here. So if you can see, there's a different material from the body and the sleeves and the armpit. The armpit is a standard mesh, but it is quite thin, I'll say, and it's breathable, okay? On the shoulders, this is notorious for the Adidas to have the trademark dimples in the shoulders now guys it's not perforation it doesn't go through there is no holes all right it's just stamped in there most likely with the machine okay it's stamped in there it creates a cool effect when light hits it and that's that much better construction guys again though still no reinforced elbows however you do see a lot of different stitching a lot of different pieces went into this jersey and the different three different materials all right guys and finally we have the made in canada version like i said it's the most expensive and the hardest to find by far but look at already you can see the details guys you can see how much thicker more more lush and detailed the chain stitching is in the blackhawk i mean even the quality of the logo itself is much thicker firmer stiffer all right, guys, uh, what I like about the Made in Canada versions, and you get a glimpse of it on the Retail Authentics, is you can really see the details that make that team's jersey unique. All right, that's what I love. Guys, let's go into the really fine details now. Uh, on these, chain-stitched, it's hand-stitched. Uh, City Sport customized this for me. They are the Blackhawks' official customizer both for the on ice jerseys like i said earlier and as well as the pro shop now guys um it doesn't have the standard white fight strap this one matches the jersey and the material is much thicker firmer and it's completely different it is, it's not dimple mesh guys at all okay completely different type of mesh grainy stretchy and firm 
So guys, just like the Retail Authentic, this one does have different material in the armpits right here for ventilation. However, the holes and per sorry, the perforation in this one is much uh, tighter together and the material itself is thicker. But look at them shoulders, guys. Look how thick the material is on the shoulders versus the Retail Authentic version, guys. I mean, the dimples are almost twice as deep much stronger much more flexible logos are all actually chain stitched into the jersey this is still heat heat press uh heat applied though and show logo is actually pretty close as the other one i mean but even you could actually see like the ribs right there on the polyester look at that for the for for the uh neck and guys team issue patch once in a while you'll get lucky and you'll find the patches on the retail authentics almost never though this one is a direct team issue and again beautifully flawless hand stitched name and numbers guys all right um again it's layered twill just like how the blackhawks wear now guys when adidas released these they wanted every team to have perforated numbers however a lot of teams complained due to costs and other factors Blackhawks have standard layer twill, which you've seen for years on jerseys. Some teams do have the perforation. Some teams have kiss cut. Some teams have perforated kiss cut. Some teams, yes, do have sublimated, uh, just higher quality. And that's pretty much it, guys. Now, this, the MICs also do have reinforced elbows, okay? You can see that right there. As for their elbow pads, give a little bit more cushion. All right, reinforced elbows. So guys, I mean, night and day difference. If you can find it and you got the money, get the MIC version. However, once you do start getting these, you might get <clears throat> hooked on them. But no one can hate you for that because it's an awesome jersey. Alright, so real quick before we conclude, I wanted to tell you guys about the difference between the Prime Green and the Arrow Ready. So guys, Prime Green is currently what they actually wear, like to this current uh, season coming up. I think they started last season, if I, if I remember. Right here by the neckline, it says Prime Green. And at the bottom of the jersey, it got that little tag. Now on the Retail Authentics, they made in Indonesia. On the Prime Green, they started using Tackle Twill letters and numbers, which is a huge difference than the uh, vinyl twill that they were using on the previous ones, which is bad quality. All right, guys, on the Made in Canada versions, they look almost exactly the same as the Arrow Ready, except for this neckline and this tagging. Uh, on those ones, from when I felt it, it is slightly bit more stretchy. Very, very subtle, though. On the Blackhawk specifically, actually, the Arrow Ready, the Blackhawk, crest is a little bit more firm versus on the prime green is just a hair bit more flimsy but besides that they're pretty much the same and those are the three types of adidas jerseys well after watching that video hopefully you guys are able now to make a better decision about which is for you and for those of you who watched the video that already knew about the jerseys i hope you still had a good time if you guys did I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one.